hi everybody I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to jazz up the way your topic assignments look on Google Classroom for your students so I'm gonna take you from this the way it looks normally to this so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to go to this website it is called coolsymbol.com and it's pretty straightforward you can click on any of these symbols here if you want um, and once you click on it it will copy that symbol to the key the clipboard um, but I like using the emoji so if you look here on the right hand side you'll see there's a bunch of different links to click on I'm gonna click on emoji for copy and paste and it's gonna bring me to all the emojis that are available now there's a lot here and they're sorted by um, topic but let's say you don't want to look through all these because they are a lot to look through you're gonna click on search and you can type in anything and it'll filter the result for you so I want to use the books because I'm going to update um, my reading topic so once I click on the icon it's going to copy it to my clipboard I'm gonna come back over here and then I'm gonna click on these three dots that are gonna allow me to rename this topic now once I get here it's putting me at the very beginning of the line I'm just gonna hit on a, I'm on a Mac so I'm gonna hit command V if you are on a computer a PC or a Chromebook you'd hit control V and it's going to paste that emoji right there and then I'm gonna click rename and you'll see my emoji is there now you're gonna do something very similar to change the font you're gonna click off these ads here if you have to just go back to the web page and then you'll see there's also a font generator and a font changer so I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna bring me to this page and I'm gonna type in anything I want. So I wanna type in reading commonlit.org because that's the um, text I want to include on my Google Classroom. Now you'll see there are a bunch of different fonts that you can choose from. It's really up to you what you want to choose. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. I clicked on copy it's now in my clipboard I'm gonna do the same thing like I did with my emoji and I'm gonna click on rename and I'm gonna to go to the end of the line delete what I already have now if you're naming your topics as you're creating them you don't have to rename them you would just create them initially um, and hit click on rename and there's my text updated now it's purple because that's the theme color of this classroom there's really no way yet to update a classroom um, color like you can't customize the colors whatever theme you choose is your color is the theme that this text will be now let's say I wanted to add this emoji again at the end of that line I could go back to where it says emoji for cut and paste click on the books again go back here click on rename and then add it to the end of the line here And that one's a little bit too long because the text is big but it is at the end just like this is so if you are interested in doing this this is I'm going to show you one more time let's do another emoji so let's do a check mark because we're looking at our assessment topic. So I'm going to click on search. 
assessments not, not there I already checked so I know that there's a check mark there so I like this one I'm gonna click on that it's gonna copy I'm gonna go to rename and I'm gonna paste it there twice <clears throat> And it's going to post now some of them the colors don't come up for some reason I guess that's something in the coding you don't really have to worry about that you can play around with it I actually want to see if one of those other checks will show their color so let's try that together try this green one so we'll do rename let's see that one worked and then I have my emojis and then if I want to change the font I'm gonna go here again I'm going to go to my font generator and I'm going to put in the text I want to put, which is assessment. And you can keep the fonts all the same, you can keep them different. It's really up to you. It's your design, your classroom. Let's try this one, see how it looks. So I'm going to rename this. And there we go. So you'll see you can customize this any way you want. This one I would probably change because it's a little bit big. If this was like one word, I would keep it this font, but this is too long. Um, but that's how you add emojis and change the font in your Google Classroom for your topics. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.